Well done, Moke. In other news, groundnut farmers are being challenged to increase the acreage under the food crop to meet demand from processors. European Union funded market access upgrade program project coordinator Maina Karweru says most processors have been forced to source groundnuts from neighboring countries but are keen on contract farming to commercialize groundnut farming. Groundnut farmers in Busia and Sierra counties have been linked with a nut processor as EU-funded market access upgrade program steps up efforts to commercialize groundnut farming in Kenya. So once they are able to have um, a market and a consistent market and our aim is that the farmers and the buyer will be able to do a contract so that the farmers have certainty in terms of what they need to produce, in terms of prices, in terms of payments, and that will automatically increase uh, the level of production. The farm has a demand of 200,000 metric tons of donuts annually, but only gets half of the supply locally. We want to assure them that we are going to provide a contract that will ensure them the minimum price that we can offer to them and also the maximum price that we can also offer to them so that they can abide to the contract to avoid the uh, side selling that we have experienced with so many farmers. To increase acreage under groundnuts and commercialize the crop, the market access upgrade program has committed to provide high yielding certified groundnut seeds to farmers. We also worked together with Carlo and Icrisat and Egerton University on seed production. That has been the major challenge in groundnut because there is no certified seed on the shelves in agrovets. Farmers will also be linked to buyers in a bid to eliminate middlemen who fleece farmers. In Aimani Akwamba, your contract was about to be sure. Baada ya kuharvest tuta tuna soko na tutakuwa na pesa. Kukiwa na soko wakulima wako kwa sababu njugu uh, ni chakula bora kwa afya. He is challenging farmers to follow the laid down practices especially during harvesting to reduce cases of aflatoxin contamination and post harvest losses. We have already trained those farmers on global gap standards so the company is happy that is finding a group that is already trained aware of the requirements in terms of food safety, quality and compliance to the environment. Benson Ruba reporting for Lunchtime News.